We all want love. We all crave for love. But for empaths, the desire is even stronger. Hi. Hi, I'm Karen Katz. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is an honor to meet you. I am a certified professional life coach, speaker for Fortune 500 companies, and manifestation teacher. I am also an empath that has broken through the dreadful dynamic of codependence, people pleasing, overgiving, and attracting narcissists. And if that's what you want to do too, start by subscribing to the channel, turning on notifications so you don't miss one single video that could start creating powerful shifts for you right now. Today we're talking about how to get the love you crave and deserve. So let's get right into it. Love and belonging are basic human needs. We all have them, we all crave for them. But for empaths, we long for it. Why is that? As I've discussed previously in several videos, we are highly sensitive beings. We've had since childhood our fair share, more than our fair share, of rejection, pain, and humiliation. And since childhood, we've had a great deal of pain and rejection, but we were left alone to deal with it because those wounds were not visible. Imagine a three or four, a five-year-old left alone to tend to a broken bone or a deep cut. They can't do it. But because these wounds were not visible, we were left alone to tend to them. In addition to that, we were shamed for them. If you're an empath, you're very familiar with the phrases, what's wrong with you? You're too sensitive, get over it, get on, move on already, leaving us confused, in pain, unable to tend to the wound, and on top of it all, feeling very, very wrong at our core. Feeling like there's something deeply wrong with us, like we are broken in some way. Here's what happens, and this is the most delicate part. This deep-rooted feeling starts to erode our sense of self, our sense of self-worth, and it starts to develop tentacles that create a set of core beliefs from which we operate. I'm broken. There's something wrong with me. I'm not good enough. I need to be fixed. And this set of beliefs becomes the filter through which we see the outside world. The outside reflects the inside. It has to. The brain looks for congruency. If we're walking around with this feeling that there's something utterly wrong with me as a child, then I am the last one picked. Guess what the outside is going to reflect? Exactly that. I am always the last one picked. And let me know in the comments if this is something that is very common for you because it always happened to me as a child. What we don't know is how this addiction started. And yes, it is an addiction. I've, heard, I've read about people that were addicted to drugs and how their addiction started. And in some cases, a parent took the child's arm when they were very, very young and injected a needle into their arm. And that's how their addiction started. Narcissistic abuse does exactly the same thing. It shatters our sense of self. It creates a core wound and belief of brokenness, deep-rooted shame that has us walking around feeling worthless, looking for someone to see us, looking for someone to validate us, making us external validation junkies where we develop codependency, people-pleasing, the inability to say no, the inability to create boundaries, wanting to be whatever other people want us to be so that we can get the love, the acceptance, the validation once and for all. If you're an empath, you're very familiar with becoming a chameleon. That's what I felt I was for most of my life. I didn't even know who I was anymore because if I was with one person and they needed me to be that way, I became that way. If I was with another person and they needed me to be the other way, I would change to be that. 
a chameleon always changing to satisfy the people around us. And that's because we don't know how to get our need met, our sense, this primal need of love and belonging. We don't know how to get it met. We never had it met when we were young. We're walking around with this core belief that we are broken, that there's something that is wrong and needs to be fixed. And if anybody gives us any attention, it's, wow, you're doing me this huge favor. You're putting up with me. You're putting up with my brokenness and I don't want you to leave me. So I will do whatever it takes for you to stay. And I'm going to put on as many masks as I can because if you see me for who I really am, if you see my brokenness, you're going to leave me. If you see my brokenness, you are going to leave me. So we have to pretend to be what other people need us to be. We have become addicted to external validation. External validation junkies for survival. This was a survival mechanism. We needed to cope in whatever way we could for safety and survival, at a very young age, we started to develop this coping mechanism. It is a trauma response. In order for us to break free from this addiction, we need to understand the dynamic very well. And it is more than I can explain in a 10 minute video. So I've created a free training for you to understand the details of this dynamic. And once you understand what is going on, then it is possible to see the way out, which I walk you through in the free training also. So make sure to check that out in the description box. The link is there for you. For now, love, I need you to know the most important thing. You are not broken. There is nothing wrong with you. And your sensitivity, what most people call a curse, is actually your biggest gift. If you want to learn how, stick around because that is what I love to share. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments what you'd like to hear more about so I could put it on the list for the future videos. And please do share this information with fellow empaths so it is possible to heal from this. It is possible to break the addiction. It just takes the proper tools, the proper guidance, the proper support but it is possible 100 percent you are not broken there is nothing wrong with you much love your way i will talk to you soon namaste